I'm Rod Peter Jr., and this is Blackadder Goes Forth. Uh, Blackadder Goes Forth is a uh, show that myself and a uh, young chap by the name of Theodore Sherman wrote based off of characters uh, created by Ben Elton and Richard Curtis. Uh, those are the guys that, if you don't know who they are, uh, wrote Love Actually, Richard Jones' Diary, um, all the sort of British love comedies. Um, but before they were really famous for those sort of things, uh, they did the show called Black Adder. And, uh, just Have you... Hello. I don't think we've met. You must be new. My name is Captain Darling, and I... Mm. Right. All right. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think I got your name. Bob! Bob. It's a very lovely name. Say, Black Hatter, you wouldn't happen to have come across that spy yet, have you? No, I've got a couple of leads. Doesn't really matter, anyway. So, yeah, uh, I tend to be doing a lot of theater that's very physical. When in reality, that's not really what I like to do. Uh, I like to do more uh, scripted work and uh, very heavy dialogue-based stuff, which is why I really like doing it's Black Adder, because it's a very witty comedy. Hey. Yes, sir. What are you doing? I'm carving something on a bullet, sir. What are you carving? Carving Baldrick, sir. What? It's part of a cunning plan, sir. Oh, of course it is. But you know how they say that somewhere there's a bullet with your name on it? Yes. I thought if I owned the bullet with my name on it, I'd never get hit by it. Because I'll never shoot myself. Oh, what a shame. And the chances of there being two bullets with my name on it are very small indeed. Remember, standard procedure when stepping on a landmine is to launch yourself 20 meters into the air and scatter yourself over a large area. Now, charge! Yeah! Ah! 